How am I supposed to find a job without a babysitter? I just can't afford my prescription. My kids and I need a safe place. Could my child there be using be drugs? They just shut off my I gas. Never Can they do that? Change. I get my baby. I need help. I'm just worried about this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just not ready. Help. help! Life is full of problems, but finding help shouldn't be one of them. Call 211. It's free, confidential, and you can call any time, day or night. That 211 lady was so nice. My English is not very good, but with 211, it's not a problem. 211. Get help. Get answers. Welcome back to Campus Connect. I'm your host, Ed Yaw, and our guest today is Dr. Kathleen Waldron president of William Patterson University. So we just had a little conversation about uh, some of the history and comprehensive nature of the university, which mm -hmm. is you know, very impressive. Um, maybe we could talk a little bit about some of the new developments and some of the things that you're most proud of uh, in terms of uh, William Patterson today and in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I think um, there's been a lot of um, activity since I started in August, many of, a lot of which preceded me, but then came to fruition after I started. So that's always a great position mm. for a new president to be in. And I think some of the highlights of the fall semester were the dedication of our solar panel project. Mm. Uh, that's the largest solar panel project of any university in the United States. And it's now supplying about 20% of our electricity needs and saving us millions of dollars yeah. in energy costs. And to me, it's the perfect project between the private sector and the public sector, which was funded by the private sector, so we didn't have to use taxpayer dollars or, or much of our own resources to do it. Um, and the uh, solar panels are over our parking lots and on our roof buildings and actually provide some shelter to students when they park. So it's a great project. And then we opened up our new science facility um, this summer also. This is an $85 million investment in the future of science education in northern New Jersey. A very important project for us, tied very much to our academic programs in science and allied health. And very important for us that we had modern 21st century labs classrooms and research areas where students and faculty together can work on their research projects. That's very impressive. Yeah, uh, it was a good project. I've seen the, uh, the solar panels. Uh, mm -hmm. That's quite, I mean, you can't miss them when you come to the, to the campus, but uh, uh, supplying 20% of your electricity is, is certainly very, very impressive. It is, and um, we're now starting to develop programs in environmental sustainability, mm -hmm and alternative sources of energy as academic programs since we have this wonderful laboratory right, right there. And we have the faculty on board. We brought 21 new faculty to campus this fall. Next fall, I, uh, we are looking for 25 more new faculty. So we want to increase, make sure that our full-time faculty um, stay current with our student population growth. And so we're looking for people who have expertise in some of these fields that we've targeted for excellence and development. Speaking of environmental issues, I heard a rumor that you were a fisher person. <laughs> it's true. I do love to fish, um, but I'm not an expert in fishing the way I as has sometimes been reported. But it was a very um, funny story that the students set up a fishing club. And the first thing they asked the new president was, um, do you... Um, would you let us fish on campus? And uh, so you'll see a picture of me fishing with the students on campus. I caught a three-inch fish. They caught some big fish, but it was great fun. And we did have a pond filled with fish. It had been stocked years ago, but no one ever fished it. So those fish are really big in that pond. That's great. Well, it's a great story, and what a great way to start your presidency and, and connect with the students and with the, the, the community at large. I, I commend you for that. I oh. think that, that, that says a lot about you oh. and your, your leadership. Oh, uh, well, thank you. It was fun. Yeah. It was yeah. fun. What are some of the other uh, elements uh, that's, that are happening at the university now that you're well, particularly excited about? This year, um, we finally were authorized by the state of New Jersey to start our first doctoral program in the nursing practitioner. Mm. Um, I think most people know that there's a shortage of nurses in the country today or people to teach nursing and so our program is filled and so we're starting that doctoral program. Our first class launch will be in the fall of 2011 and we're looking very much forward to that. We're also bringing some new degrees online and particularly focusing on developing more graduate degrees because one of the things I've noticed in, in northern New Jersey is the number of very educated people and but also the high demand for skilled people, educated people at the master's level in a lot of the industries and, and jobs that exist. So I think we <coughs> really need to make sure that public higher education encompasses graduate education for students so that they can get affordable 
not too distant from their homes graduate education and we're committed to that going forward. That's great. I'm particularly uh, excited about the doctoral program in nursing because we have a very large nursing program as you may know yes. mm -hmm. and when I participate in our pinning ceremonies I always suggest to the students that they continue their education uh, and come back and teach for us because we're very concerned about the availability of uh, people to teach nursing uh, in, the, in the future. Well, you're right. I mean, this is a nationwide problem, and a lot of the nursing faculty are nearing retirement age, and there's not a pipeline of people coming through. So I hope you get your students to return and teach. Yes. Tell them now we have a doctoral program. That's right. That's um, right. They can go for that. And we have wonderful exchanges uh, and interaction between um, um, your institution and mine. Uh, there's so many students who transfer um, to William Patterson University to finish their four-year degree and we're really pleased to see those transfer students coming in. They're very right. well prepared. They do well. Um, they tend to focus in business and education and nursing. Mm -hmm. uh, those are very practical fields um, that offer a lot of opportunities for them after they finish their degrees. Oh, that's, that's great. Now you also have been pretty successful in some of your athletic programs. Maybe you'd like to share some of that uh, with yes, us as well. Yes, we uh, have. And I, I can't tell you how exciting it was this semester to attend the women's basketball team as they went to the NCAA Sweet 16 finals. So mm. every Wednesday night that they were playing home games, um, I was watching and yeah. it was, and they did great. Mm -hmm. They really did. They just um, finished up a round uh, and it's a young team. Mm -hmm. a lot of freshmen and sophomores so we're very very um, excited about the future of that team going forward um, and the young women uh, athletes did a great job we also have a prize winning ice hockey club team mm -hmm. a prize winning uh, student bowling team mm -hmm. uh, that they're club teams uh, but they've done really well and then of course our baseball season is just getting underway mm -hmm. and William Patterson has a history of um, excellent baseball yeah, especially I, men's baseball. I know you do have a very strong reputation uh, going back many years now mm -hmm. in, in baseball. We also, we're one of the few, I think we're the only community college that has a hockey program. Oh. And you'll be interested to know that this year, for the first time, we had a woman on our uh, men's, uh, on our hockey team. So it's now a co-ed sport. Wow. At, uh, at CCM. So oh, congratulations that was, that on was, that. That's yeah. quite unique. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, but we're very excited about uh -huh. that. Uh-huh, that is exciting. Yeah. yeah. So, um, when Campus Connect returns, Dr. Waldron and I will talk more about the relationship between County College of Morris and William Patterson University. Please stay with us. Not all County College of Morris students look like me. Some look like me. Or me. Or me. Or me. We all come to CCM at different stages of life. And for different reasons. I plan to transfer to a university. I'm training for a new career as a nurse. But we all know one thing. CCM is where we want to be. So check out the website. Check out the website. Check out the website. And let CCM connect learning and your life. 